What's up, you guys? I'm here with a new video today, and I'm here to bring you guys a ban list prediction for January slash February 2017 in the new year. Uh, we have not been given a release date, obviously, for our new upcoming limited forbidden list. However, uh, we know that it's coming within the next month or so. It'll either be before YCS Seattle or after. I feel it's definitely going to be before. I feel like they're going to um, they're definitely going to uh, make some changes. Uh, to the format before then, uh, I'm already forgetting stuff, so don't mind me over here just typing away as I uh, forget stuff. I can't even spell correctly, so don't mind me, but I'm looking for Teratop because I'm pretty sure that card's going to one. But anyways, I'm here to give you guys just some ideas based on what I've seen in the OCG, just based on, uh, as you guys saw I posted on Facebook, you guys gave me some ideas of stuff that could get banned, limited, etc, etc. Uh, I'm going to give you the best like rundown of this that I can. These are just my thoughts, things that I'd like to see, things that might happen, might not happen, but I feel are intricate um, for what's going on in the game right now. So we'll just start with the basics. Cards that I think are going to get banned, I feel Kieran is going to get banned. I feel it's easily one of the best monsters ever created. It's definitely one of the best Pendulum monsters ever created. And everyone is bitching about the card. Uh, the card is very strong. Lost to it many times. It's very strong. It's very good at what it does gives metal foes that added edge it gives any pendulum duck deck that added edge and i feel it's just a really solid card i feel that they're going to follow the route of um they're going or they're going to follow the route of ocg and and ban it unfortunately so yeah i feel kieran's definitely going to get hit the next card i feel that's possible to get hit uh is going to be norden i feel norden definitely uh it, it's time uh, this card is absolutely amazing. I'm going to hate to see it go. It really has helped a lot of just like uh, XYZ decks, Synchro decks. So simple to go Instant Fusion, bring out Nord in order to bring up another guy, make your rank 4, make your level 8 Synchro or whatever level you're making. It's just so powerful. The card can be recycled, but totally awesome. I feel the card is definitely, uh, unfortunately, I feel it's going to get hit. I feel that those are going to be the banned cards. It's going to be Norden and Kirin. And then over here, I have some possible other options of stuff that could potentially get banned. And here's the reason behind them. I'm going to start with Level Leader. Now, the reason I say Level Leader is because I feel OCG did it to stop all the crazy Synchro decks, the hand loop decks. And I feel that if those decks are really a problem, which I'm not 100% sure if they are, they don't really pop up as much as everyone thinks in our current TCG meta, but I feel like they could potentially uh, hit, uh, they could potentially ban Level Leader. I feel that that card definitely could get possibly hit. Uh, another card is Vanity's Emptiness. Now, I don't agree with this. I don't think Vanity's Emptiness is ban worthy, where a lot of people are going to disagree with me. They think the card is just, you know, it's just like super, just like unfair. But I feel like if your deck can't answer Emptiness, if your deck can't play around Emptiness, there's something wrong with your deck. However, a lot of people make the argument that a lot of times you just, you can't win. I lost recently to Vanity's Emptiness. I had Emptiness flipped on me and I couldn't come back. And uh, it's, you know, it just happens. I main decked out, but I didn't draw them. So, you know, it happens. Vanity's Emptiness, you know, a lot of people would say it's an unhealthy card for the format. I say like it's kind of in the middle. It can, you know, it can just come out of nowhere and take take you by surprise. Would I be surprised if it got banned? Kind of. Would I mind if it got banned? Not really. I feel like it probably is due for a ban. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it that the card has probably, you know, reached its prime. It used to be at three. It's probably going to eventually get banned because the card basically just says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. So I feel like emptiness. Even though I don't mind it being around, I feel it could definitely get hit. And the last card that could potentially get banned, in my opinion, is Anti-Spell Fragrance. Now, the reason why I say Anti-Spell Fragrance is for one reason and one reason only. It completely cuts off the mechanic of Pendulums. Other than that, I don't feel the card is unfair. And everyone can make any argument they want. I do sympathize with Pendulum players because you're not able to play your mechanic. You're not able to play your deck. You're not able to play your cards. You're not able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! because of this card. So I feel like that would be a reason enough for them to ban it is that they would say, you know what? We created the Pendulum mechanic, forgot about this card, or didn't forget about this card, and it's completely shutting down the mechanic, and people are, you know, deteriorate or you know, kind of deterring away from playing Pendulums because of it. That would be the only reason I could see uh, these cards getting hit. So those are my opinions for what could potentially get banned. Now for the cards that could potentially get limited to one. Start with Union Hanger. Now here's the thing. I feel like ABCs are really good deck. I've always said I think the deck is great. I feel it's very straightforward at what it does. It's very good at what it does. It's very powerful. Union Hanger is just a really just powerful card, like a plus two, you know, just, you know, in and of itself. It's just amazing what the card does. I could see them hitting it to one, even though I think it might be too soon. ABCs have not been out like a super long time, but I could definitely see it happen. They did do it in OCG. Again, I'm taking what we've seen from the OCG list. So I feel that Hanger potentially could get hit to one. 
something I just want to happen. I mean, free my nigga Stratos. I mean, come on, like, do I even need to say it? Like, I mean, we already know I want Stratos back to one, just because, I mean, it's been too long. So, I can see that easily happening. Uh, Stratos, I mean, I couldn't see it happening, but it would be nice to see Stratos back at one. And the last card I could see limited to one would be uh, Speedroid Terratop. Um, Terratop, because of how powerful the card is, Terratop, Autotop. Uh, they did it in OCG in, um, in Zodiacs, it's like a plus five, apparently, so I feel like this card into Invoker is just pretty crazy, so I could easily see Terratop getting hit, unfortunately. And then the last ones, um, that I could see going to one would definitely be the Erratas. Now, if you guys followed the OCG list, they got Imperial Order, Future Fusion, Rescue Cat, Brain Control, Goyo, well, Goyo got an Errata, Goyo's whatever. Uh, and Brio, I could easily see these cards coming back at one if we did get those, those erratas. I don't know if we will. I just threw it in the list because I feel it's a potential to happen since it did happen in OCG. And the last thing I forgot to mention, shout out to my boy 24 Hot Romeo 93 uh, my good friend Harvey. He he wants Excited on Night back, and I'll be honest with you, I want Excited on Night back too because it will punish bad players who overextend. It will punish players who do not you know, really just, like, who just completely commit their whole board. You can blow it out with the Excite on Night. I made a statement, like, when I played the Minerva deck playing Crimson Blader and Snow against ABCs, what felt so powerful about it was that there was no XYZ they could make that would trigger on Summon. Exciton Night is the only exception. This card can trigger upon its Summon. And I feel that that is super, super critical in a format where everyone is just, you know, putting up these insane boards. So I could definitely see Excite on Night coming back. Would I like it to come back? Yes and no. I mean, getting blown out by it sucks, but honestly, if you overcommit to that and you don't fear Excite on Night, you're going to get punished. So I could definitely see Excite on Night happening. And Dante to one, only because, I mean, Jesus Christ, this card's been at three since, like, the test of time. Like, the card needs to go to one. Even though Burning Abyss has fallen out of contention, I feel like the card could just go to one. And I mean, I don't even know what would happen. I haven't seen enough BA lately for it really to make a difference. So those are just some opinions on stuff that could potentially go to one. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I feel OCG always has a better list than us. They always have a crazy list, and obviously I'd like to say I'd like Heavy Storm or Harpy's Feather Duster, but I feel that those cards are just not going to come back for us. I didn't even put them in this list. They're definitely cards that, you know, I could see happening maybe eventually down the line, but probably not right now. Again, for this video, be sure to just comment down below with anything, any way you'd like to see the list go. Again, these are just my opinions. These are opinions I gathered from people on Facebook, and these are opinions based on OCG. That's how I come up with these predictions. Even though I don't do them that often, I feel that it's healthy to at least get a general idea of what could potentially happen in the game. Uh, so now that we've done limited, we're going to do limited to two. First one is Solemn Strike. Now, I feel Strike is, you know... <laughs> I feel it's going to get the same treatment as Solemn Warning did, and Solemn Warning went from 3 to 2, then 2 to 1, and I feel that that's what's going to happen with Solemn Strike. Not saying that it needs to, I feel the card is, you know, Solemn Strike is Solemn Strike. Like, I don't get mad getting Strike. Like, I really don't. I feel Strike is just a really powerful card. Um, I know, again, unfortunate for Pendulums, you know, you, you, you commit that many monsters, you get Strike, you lose them all, but, you know, that's how it goes, that's how this game goes. So I feel Strike could definitely get hit to two. I don't see it getting hit to one, but I could definitely see it getting hit to two. Same with Fire, same with uh, Tanky. The reason I say Tanky is because of the uh, upcoming Zodiacs. I don't know if people are actually going to do this to, uh, to the deck, but I can see Tanky going to two because um, anything that I guess kind of hinder the deck. But honestly, the, the craziest thing they could do is put Tanky to 1 before we even get Zodiacs, but I feel that they're not going to do that. I feel at most they put it to 2 like they did before, and that we would just have to play with 2 Tanky. So uh, that's just something I see. It might go to 2, and that's about it. As far as like other cards, like there's just not a lot like I see happening. I know a lot of people have different ideas. I don't see that many cards coming to 2. Um, obviously, I like to see cards like Rabbit come to 2, but... I don't think it's going to happen. I'd like to see, um, you know, I'd like to see some cards come back, but I just don't feel like it's going to happen. So I kind of left the, I always leave the semi limits low because I never really know what to expect. And there's not a lot of cards I expect to come back. So I left it, left it at that. And then I'm just going to get to the cards I like to see at three. I'm going to start with Dark Hole because Dark Hole is Dark Hole. It's at two. It can come to three. It's not going to matter. It's a good board wipe, good card in general. It's not unhealthy for the game. You lose your board too. 
whatever. ABCs play at the best because their guys float. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about Dark Hole. Max C, I want it back at three. There were people that tipped Max C to one. Fuck that. We need Max C in this game because everyone is high. Everyone is special summoning out the ass. Max C will punish you for that. You take the Max C challenge, you better win or you're definitely going to lose. So, I want to see Max C at, at three because I don't feel it ever should have gone to two. And Upstart Goblin, just because... I like the idea of playing 37 cards. I like making the deck more consistent. I know that they banned Upstart Goblin because of the Magical Explosion FTK. One more thing I forgot to add here is uh, they need to ban this card and this card. Take care of these cards, especially Life Equalizer, and we won't have any more of those damn OTKs. Ban these cards, we'll never have the issue again. That's the last thing to add. Ban these cards, we don't have the issue anymore. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I know it's been a pretty short video, but it's to the point. I feel that this format, to me, I don't have a single problem with this format. You can throw any card in here you want that you think should get banned. I heard people say Soul Charge. So be it. Few decks play Soul Charge. The decks that do are Blue Eyes, Dark Lords, Minerva. Like That's pretty much it. You don't see ABC play it. You don't see Metal Foes play it. You don't see Paleozoic play it. I'm not hitting Totally Awesome. The card just came out. I'm not hitting Dimensional Barrier. The card just came out. They're going to sell the shit out of those cards, and then maybe they'll get hit later later on. But I definitely don't see that happening um, in the near future. So these are just my thoughts, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to comment below. I want a lot of comments. I want a lot of discussions. What do you think of what I've said here? Do you feel that it's pretty spot on? Do you feel it's complete bullshit? Do you feel like I, I didn't present a good possible list? Do you feel like certain cards definitely need to be contended with? And if you do... Let me know in the comments below what would you like to see banned, limited, semi-limited, and brought back to three. Um, like I said, this video is mostly for discussion. I want to open a big discussion in the comments, and I hope you guys will enjoy it and contribute. And I will definitely see you guys in more videos as we await our future list. So yeah, these are just my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to comment. Be sure to share this with, the, with your friends, everybody that plays. Let me know what you think. Be sure to comment. Be sure to give me your opinions. Be sure to let me know what you would like to see to make our game healthier. So that's all I got to say. Hope you guys liked the video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.